facing each other. So this one's got to go. This one's wrong. This one's got to go this way. And this has to be changed around. That's all my decreasing. Now I have to do my increasing. So bring my stitches back out. Now the pattern. Okay, this one's supposed to be a little one. The pattern calls for two knit front and back. Which you can do it on the bond. It just makes it extremely tight. I'm moving all these knits to the left or to the right, depending on the pattern. Okay, so that leaves my two front and back increases by themselves. And what I'll do... Let's see. I usually take the bottom and hang it. And take the bottom. Now if you wanted to do a true front and back, that one on there, pick up the stitch, bring it over, bring the stitch out. Now see how the stitches, the needle is on top of the stitch? Open the latch and hook it on the machine. But that's a real front and back stitch. But I just like doing a simple increase. My pattern, so I can do what I want. So I'm just doing a simple increase. Now, if you've got a three or four transfer tool, you can take these two stitches and move them all at once. I say take all three stitches and move them all at once. I'll do that on the next row. Okay, and then you can take... Actually, I have a four that I like using for this because I take... I take these four this is a five transfer tool, but I only need to move four over. And just move them all at once. Okay. Then take these two. Move them over one. These two are the knit twos in front of or beside the front and back stitch. Okay. And then I want to take these four, which are the three knit, plain knits, plus one front and back. And then these two, I 
and you can't see what I'm doing. Okay, as I was saying, these two, which is the knit twos plus the front and back. No, belay that. Just these two. Transfer them onto the tool and move them over one. What you're doing is you're setting up the hole for the front and back. Now these, I'm taking the front and back and the two knits. You don't want to do that. If you do, just rehang it. Move these over one. And let's just do in pieces on the ones that have holes. And I usually take the notch right below. The reason is because it puts less stress on knitting it across. Now when you knit this row, you have to knit it carefully because those are some tight stitches there that you're dealing with. Now I have no stress on my feeding yarn. Got two I probably have to repair. Yep. And the reason I knew it because it was it slid across that section really tight so I knew I was gonna have to I knew those stitches weren't gonna stitch okay now that's your pattern row so you knit one more row plain and then one more row plain so what it is, it's a plain row of knit, and then a row of your pattern. Okay, and I was going to show you, okay, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to do our knit together, knit two together here. Then I'm going to move these two over. And then I'm going to do these knit twos. Now this time I'm picking up, I want my four, because I'm going to pick up one stitch of my increase, and then four more, including one stitch of my Excuse me, I said that. <coughs> I said that wrong. You're going to take one stitch of your decrease plus the three knits plus one stitch of your increase stitch and move these four, excuse me, move these five over one. And now I'm going to knit two together, so I'm going to take these four, which is half of my knit two together, my two knits, and one of my front and back knits. Just transfer them to the your transfer tool. Now if you like these tools, there's a video, I've got a video up on for that. Okay, now I want to take, you have two knit front and back, so I take one of the front, the other front and back, 
and these three knits plus the knit the skip skip knit take all five of those off and move them to the left one I'll probably make these tools again but I'll use some heavy duty bobby pins okay now you have your skip your knit two together those, and those are the two that you're going to be using let's see if I can bring you in a little better so you can see what I'm referring to okay So here's our, our knit twos together. Okay, there we go. Sound like losing your own work. All right, so there's my knit twos together. So I leave this, the first one, alone, and I take the second. And these two knit twos together and the knit front and back. Oh, do I? Now, leave that front and back alone. So take these three stitches. Try that again. Take these three stitches and move them to the right one. That gives you one open space for your increase stitch. Okay, now I want, that's my knit, my front and back, and my front and back. I'm gonna leave that one alone. I'm gonna take my front and back, and my three knit twos together, Just repeat that, my three plain knits, and then one of my decrease knits. And sometimes it's easy just to push the work onto the tool. Okay. Now these, I'm going to move over to the left one spot. It is a lot of manipulation. Some people, it would be quicker to knit by hand. But I don't have that much patience. Okay, so I'm taking, that's my knit two together. So I'm taking the second half, or second needle for that one. And my three, my, my, so it's three stitches. So I'm going to take these off the machine and move them one to the right. And that gives me my opening for my increase. Now, I have not tried any other sizes. This is my first experiment, experiment with a ripple stitch. I've got some split yarns. I'm just getting them back into the threads. So I take my my increase stitch, my two, my three plain knit stitches, load it. I'm missing a stitch. Why did I miss a stitch? <laughs> 